The final movement for our golf preparation, really looking at the spine and the thoracic rotation, is called the slap shot. So the slap shot is going to allow us to create, it, well, we have multiple stages. The first stage will allow us to create good hip separation and really working thoracic rotation over stable hips. And then we will start to combine those elements of rotation with a lateral weight shift. Right, a golf swing, good golf swing not only contains proper torso rotation, but also allows for proper weight shifting and then of course sequencing them, them all together so we can hit the shot that we would like to shoot, of course, right? So what we're gonna do, the first one, we're gonna start with a fairly wide stance, nothing too, too wide for now. We're gonna take that stick across the low back and then we're gonna grab the stick, the handles, with the relatively straight arms, they don't need to be locked out, but relatively straight, grabbing at those handles nice and tight. So what I'm gonna do from here is I'm gonna hinge those hips back so I get a good stretch in the hamstrings. And my first stage, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rotate to one direction. So I'm keeping my hips relatively stable. Rotate to one direction, press the base of the stick into the floor, push into the floor for about three seconds or so. And then I'm just coming back up, rotate to the other side, press the stick into the floor, hold. One, two, three, rotate back and I will just work back and forth, get to the base of the stick into the floor, drive down and back through. But notice that my torso is rotating. Really the torso is the driver here. I'm in a good hip hinge position. Lower body is staying relatively stable. Okay, so the next one we're gonna do is go a little bit wider. Walk those feet out just a little bit. Same thing with the hands. Base at the, the stick is at the base of the lower back. What I will do is I will Rotate, same way, so hinge, rotate, base of the stick is on the floor. I'm in this good vertical position, so if you think about a golf swing, right, I'm at the top of my swing here, I got a good vertical angle of this stick. I'm driving the base of the stick into the floor, and then I will just be shifting to my left, shifting to my right. If I want to make it a little bit more challenging, go even wider, shift to my left, shift to my right, driving the base of the stick in the floor the whole time. Complete the prescribed number of reps on that side. And then we do the same thing, go back the other way. Hinge, rotate, I got this good separation here between the upper body and the lower body. And then I will shift left, I will shift right. Shift left, keep driving that stick into the floor. And then shift right. And then our third stage, we're just gonna put them together. So I will shift to my right, rotate to my right, drive the stick into the floor, shift to my left, rotate to my left, drive that stick into the floor again, holding about three seconds, driving that stick into the floor, allows us to just create some tension, create some strength, and really work to solidify that position. So I'm hip hinge, shift to my right, drive the stick into the floor, one, two, three, come back through, shift to my left, rotate left, drive the stick in the floor, you can keep your head down as if you're looking at the golf ball here, or you can rotate up, go from there, drive that stick, down to the floor, I've shifted to my right side, one more time, shift left, rotate left, drive that stick down, open up those shoulders, and return. So complete the prescribed number of reps, working both sides. You can stay just at stage one, progress to stage two, stage three, just working to create not only stability and control, but really work in and out of those positions with good cadence, driving those sticks into the floor to allow us to solidify and create more tension and control and stability at those positions. That is the stick slap shot, stage one, two, and three. Give it a shot.